This TV comes loaded with the full power of a media company. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this TV. It's a Hisense X-Class TV. So this is their latest and greatest. Now, specifically, this is the 50, which means 50-inch, 50A6 GX3. So this is another smart TV, ultra high definition, 4K. Hisense has just been awesome. They make Roku, Android-based TVs, and this one is slightly unique. Now, I think a 50-inch TV is actually really a great size for most people. It's not too big, but it's certainly not small. In fact, this is going to be a serious upgrade for me. I have a 42-inch plasma TV. You remember plasma TVs? They glow, they get real hot, they're super heavy but they were kind of the first original flat panel TV, and mine is a dumb TV. It doesn't have a smart operating system. You can't plug a USB drive into it and play your video files. So this is going to be a better picture, a better TV, better sounding with all of the features, and I tell you what, a lot lighter. I actually brought this TV in on my own because it is that light. Now my personal little TV setup hack is to take the TV out and then lay it face down on the table so the edge, the bottom edge hangs off or even use the box that it comes with so that you can install the legs without having to prop up one end. All right, got it unboxed. It's easier with two people, I am sure, but I did it all by my lonesome. Now I wanna show you the back of the TV because I think TV badonkadonks don't get the love that they deserve. Obviously kind of a flat panel here. All of the big electronics are in this hump right here. And you can see we have the AC cord that goes in on this side. Then we have some of those RCA cables and a headphone three and a half millimeter, which actually I use for sound bars a lot because it just makes it really simple. It bypasses the internal TV speakers and then allows you to use volume control. So I really like that. I know a lot of people will poo poo me for that and they'll say, well, Pete, there's an optical audio port right there. And I'm like, well, I don't use that that much. Antenna, so you can get your local channels. And then we also have a USB service port. My guess is that I could probably put a USB thumb drive in there too with my own media files. HDMI, HDMI 2 with eARC, HDMI 3, as well as a LAN port there. So I think I'm gonna be able to use this with Wi-Fi, but you can certainly use it wired too. Now I also wanna show you, comes with legs here. So we get these pretty big polymer legs. And I would say that I don't think you can screw these up. They kind of will only go in one way. There's a shape there. So if you remember, your cylinder goes in the circle hole, the triangle goes in the triangular hole. We also get a little bag of screws right here. So I think my power screwdriver is going to make this quick here. So I'm gonna put those on. So one of the first things that I wanna show you is this remote, it's pretty cool. It's actually quite a bit bigger than some of the other remotes, particularly the Roku branded or Amazon Fire Stick branded remotes. It's kind of a normal size remote, which I really like because it feels good in the hand. It's very ergonomically shaped, kind of a little thicker down on the bottom. So fits in your hand and is nicely balanced like a bullpup. So what we get here is kind of your standard controls, volume controls, power, a navigation pad right there. We also have some of your presets for some of those apps that you'll use a lot in your home button. And then we also have a number pad down here. Now, one of the cool things about this is this little microphone button right up there. So you should be able to use voice control, which is going to help a ton when you are trying to find something. Imagine typing in Yellowstone, the TV series, every time you wanted to watch that as opposed to a documentary about it or something on Nat Geo. Imagine trying to find something that has a similar title to a lot of other things like something that starts with the, you know, so you're typing in a lot of the titles and it has no idea what you're looking for. And something like this is just so much easier. So there's your little microphone hole there and hopefully we can talk to this and navigate around it. Now, let's get this thing powered up. Woo hoo hoo. Choose All right, language. choose my language. How would you like to connect it? Wi-Fi. Okay, so you do have to set up an X-Class TV account, which is what's new to me. So I've never used this quote unquote operating system before, but I'm actually pretty excited about it because like I said, supposedly it has the content of a full media company behind it. They're all hiding behind this little thin TV. Let's check this thing out. Now, X-Class TV, I believe, is actually Comcast. And that's why I said a huge company. Comcast is this huge multimedia cable company. And so this is the tech that they are providing. So here is the main menu, and it's a nice, clean look, man. You know, one of the things that I actually don't really like about Amazon Fire is that they've got all these cards. It's too animated. It reminds me of those 
early generations of color flow that you got on iOS. While it looked cool and it was like, hey, look at these cool animations that we can make, it doesn't really make it easy to navigate around. So one of the things that I thought we would do here is just kind of go through here. It looks like they have loaded a bunch of stock apps, which I think are the ones that most people use. I do love Pluto TV. If you don't have a cable subscription at all, you don't want to subscribe to YouTube TV or Sling, totally free. Let's just go there. I want to show you that. Drop in, it's free. Isn't that what I said? And look at all of these live TV channels this is that are totally free. <laughs> it's my big shot. My whole career is running. Man, the speakers are really good. I'm going to lower the volume there, but now look at this. I can go anywhere. Iron Chef. Streaming TV. It's like having cable without paying for any cable. How cool is that? All right. Now, if I just hit the home button right here, I'm going to go back to this home screen and, oh, it looks like it shows me the last app that I used, which is pretty cool. And then YouTube TV, certainly Paramount Plus, HBO Max, a lot of these that you might already be using. So, that's pretty cool. What to watch this week? It looks like it has some shows listed here. So that's kind of cool. You can also navigate to your inputs. This is actually very similar to Roku and I like the clean, basic look of it. And we've got some genres here. So if I wanted to go and see what we have in terms of movies, look at all these movies we've got. I'm just gonna hit view all. And this is what I'm talking about. When you buy a product that is co-developed with a giant media company, well, my expectation is that you should get maybe more content than is available on any other platform. Man, right out of the box, look at all this stuff. The old Magnificent Seven, by the way, they made a reboot of it too. And look at this, then it shows me where I can watch it. Pluto TV, watch now, Tubi right now. So if I go there, I can find it. Man, the picture quality is amazing. This ultra high definition, 4K is just amazing. Then you can see down here, we have the controls that are very much like every other TV movie. So I'm gonna just skip ahead 30 seconds of time. Jump ahead. Man, the quality on this is amazing. Now I can tell you that this original Magnificent Seven was not shot in high def. I certainly don't think so, but it looks sharp. It looks super bright. It looks awesome. Let me go back to the main screen here and let's check out this microphone button to see if we can find some stuff that we wanna watch. Point Break. Look at that. It finds Point Break, the Point Break, the movie, also the remake. I know a lot of people didn't like the remake or the reboot, but I actually did. How about this? Peter Von Panda. Oh, look at that. Found it on YouTube, huh? Yeah, and... I'm just curious if I go ahead and play one of these. I haven't logged into YouTube. Uh, use signed out, perfect. So I don't even have to log in yet. All right, guys, I shoot in 4K and that's kind of bugging me out because I wish I were better looking. But man, the resolution, the detail on this is awesome. I mean, if I just go in on this, I mean, I'm moving around a lot, but look, I'm right up against the screen. Look how much detail there is. You can't tell me that's not kind of crazy, right? So let's also go back here. While I'm in a video, I'm gonna use this microphone button here and I'm gonna to try to find something obscure. The sound of music. I actually love the fact that it seems to be working even when things are playing. And it looks like it found me the movie, it's finding me clips on YouTube, so that is awesome. I tell you what, this little button here is a game changer. I know that some other remotes come with it, but it's surprising to me that most do not, right? So if you're using an old school remote without this microphone button, man, you are missing out. And think about a movie with a long title, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Now in a matter of a few seconds, I've gone ahead and inputted that and looks like it found it. And I didn't type a single thing. I didn't go up to a search bar. I didn't navigate around to type in a bunch of letters, M, I, S, S, <laughs> and all of that. That's what makes this so awesome. And I'm just gonna go here to free because it's just crazy how much content there is. 
other than going to that X-Class TV website and activating my TV. I didn't even add a credit card, so I don't even have a payment method on file. All I did was input my email address and set up a password and this TV activated itself. And man, I just had access to so much content here. And yeah, TMNT baby, who wouldn't want to watch that? Looks like it's in the Peacock app. I love that it just finds everything. So not only do I have access to just a ton of content, but it's because it's basically indexing everything that's available through all the apps. Now I'm also curious if it can find an individual video. Peter Von Panda, Summer Makeover. Because I know that this video has some music and I thought we would check out the speaker and audio quality on this TV. Find something to celebrate my hometown, Detroit, with my Detroit Tigers hat. Man, the audio is great. The clarity, the trouble is amazing. Now in a TV like this, you can't expect that super rich thumping bass. And I would say that this doesn't have it, but in terms of being able to hear audio and in terms of being able to hear music, we will check that out too. But if certainly if you wanted to hook up a sound bar to this, I think you're going to get a really great experience. But right out of the box, the speakers that are included here are super clear. That's what I'll say. They are clear like a bell. So let's check out a little music. Man, this is a great TV. It's the perfect size, 50 inches. It's not too big. It's certainly not small. I love the fact that it has these little slim bezels. I mean, it's the slimmest bezel I can imagine without just exposing the plastic or the glass to accidents or impact. So I love this. But the best part about this, I think, is twofold. One, it's the access to amazing content thanks to the X-Class partnership here. So you get a super simple to navigate operating system and yet all sorts of content right out of the gate. And if you are a Comcast lover, then I think this is a TV for you. But then secondly, this remote, particularly with this microphone button is just so much nicer than anything else I've used. This just makes it so much easier to find stuff to search. And I really love this. And the best thing about Hisense is that now that I have a few Hisense TVs, I can tell you that they last. The quality is great. The picture quality is amazing. 4K, it can't be beat. Ultra high definition. And they are the most prolific TV here at the Panda Research Institute. And for very good reason. And then the last thing you should know is that the Hisense TVs are affordable. Maybe the most affordable on the market, especially when you look at the big name brands, which are using their own operating systems, which I still hate. I love the fact that Hisense has decided to partner up with all of the major players in the operating system space, Roku, Android, X-Class. I think it's a better experience for us. I think it's more affordable for us. And so I say, thank you, Hisense. So if you think that making it convenient for you to find all the stuff that you want to find when you want to be entertained is going to make your leisure and life a little bit better, I'll put a link to this in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever thanks to Peter. Peter Von Panda. comes loaded, uh, I'm loaded, glug, 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 glug.